The hellbender is the largest salamander in North America, the third largest in the world. And they're a fully aquatic species that can grow up to two and a half feet long. And they're an amazing indicator species for us here in Appalachia. My research is looking at how hellbender populations have changed in the wake of Hurricane Helene, and also how hellbender populations have been changing over the past 10 years. And a lot of what my research is looking into is different habitat characteristics in these aquatic waterways. We're trying to figure out how different sediments and different substrates in the river have changed after the hurricane, and we're trying to figure out where the different hellbender population pockets now are. The substrate changes have been vast in the wake of Helene. So the amount of stream power that builds up when there's that much water is capable of moving boulders that haven't moved in thousands of years. So in some places, we're seeing brand new boulders pop up. In other places, we're seeing tons of silt where there used to be great hellbender habitat because all of those big cobbles, those big boulders that they like are just totally filled with sand and silt now. But part of what this project is analyzing is possible benefits too. There's certain places that have been reconnected where hellbender populations have been separated by vast areas of sand and silt that they can't really cross. And now all that sand and silt has been blown away. And so now there's a potential for these hellbender populations that haven't been able to cohabitate and breed to be able to reproduce. Hellbenders are, to me, a symbol of everything that's magnificent about Appalachia. And those of us who've grown up around here have heard stories told down from, I remember my Mima always told me about these crazy little creatures that you, she used to find in the creeks when she was a little girl. And the sad thing is that they're disappearing. On the Greenbrier River where I grew up in West Virginia, there are no more hellbenders left in the main stem. So ever since I was a little kid, I've been driven to find these creatures and to help them. And now that we're here in the new and in the Watauga and in the Nolichucky, we're starting to see these animals pop up again, even after the destructive forces of the hurricane. And I think they truly represent, you know, how strong Appalachia is as a place, as a people, and all of the unique species that live within it. To me, it's great to be a mountaineer because I get to be a part of this community and I get to help preserve this ecosystem. This is the ecosystem that raised me, that taught me to love our ecosystems and to love our rivers. And these are the people that raised me, that taught me to love this community, that taught me to talk to my neighbors. And getting to be a part of App State, getting to be a mountaineer has been a dream come true for me.